Well, joining us to discuss this further is Ms. Lola Vivo Adeniye. She's the head of the Sexual Violence Prosecution Unit at the Lagos State Ministry of Justice. Thank you so much for joining us. Good afternoon. Thank Good you afternoon. for having me. I'm actually not the head of the prosecution unit. I serve as coordinator of the Lagos State Domestic and Sexual Violence Response Team. All right, then. Sorry for that mix-up. Let me start by asking That's you, fine. what has been your experience dealing with cases bordering on rape and sexual violence? Um, so since 2014, we've seen, in Lagos, we've seen a steady increase in um, reporting of domestic violence, sexual violence, and child abuse. We've seen a steady increase reporting of reporting from um, survivors themselves. And we've seen steady increase in reporting from mandated reporters. In Lagos, we have the mandated reporting policy, where we encourage uh, members of the public to see themselves as mandated reporters. And if they see something, they should say something and they should do something. So we've seen steady increase in reporting of um, cases. And also that has um, translated to increase in formal reporting of these cases. And these cases then get into the administration of criminal justice system and they were able to secure convictions. Uh, social media has been a buzz with so many hashtags calling for justice for all victims of rape and other sexual related abuse. But how do we make sure that tomorrow is not just another hashtag? How can justice truly be served and these criminals pay for what they've done? Social media has truly um, helped a lot of people to share their truth, to speak their truth to power. Um, it has given an opportunity, a place for people to speak, you know, without fear of um, condemnation. But as you've rightly said, it doesn't end on social media. People need to be brought to book. People need to be held accountable for their actions. And um, just in the past two days, we've actually had, on a, we've had eight cases of um, sexual violence. And we've had to encourage, first of all, and thank the survivors for even believing in us to tell us um, what they've experienced, but also encourage them that we need to go offline now. We need to ensure that they, you get to the police station, this, you write your statement is taken, and then the investigation process can start so that we can start um, ensuring that justice is served. All right, then, Ms. Lola Vivo Adeni, thank you so much for speaking to us on Network Africa. Thank you for having me.